We've got all the main stuff cut. A little difficult getting the back when you're alone. That's all right. Now it's time to kind of clean this up. When I cut my hair, usually, I'm fortunate to have my woman here. She is not today. So what I was taught how to do as a kid was, it used to feel. Feel where your line is. And you're just gonna have to really trust yourself. And so far this has worked out for me pretty well. I like to just put my hand, however, like that. And I'll take the buzzers and just follow it down. I say don't buy cheap buzzers because you're just gonna pull and snag and waste so much time, like I did. So for me, what I do when I go to clean any of this up, because it's really not much and it takes forever to grow back, I take my number four guard and I run it down the sideburn on the top because you don't want misproportion. I run down with it because you'll take less than you will running up. I'm not trying to take too much, I'm just trying to maybe feather it out, smooth it out. And then, kind of same thing with the bottom. I'll kind of just, like a comb, just kind of run the edges. For someone who doesn't have beard hair that grows very fast or very much, you don't want to take too much away. But you do want to get those clean ends. You don't want dead ends on your hair or your beard. That's a thing. Of course, we're all here to learn. That's exactly what I'm doing. Here. Looks relatively nice and smooth. Doesn't look too long up here. Short down here. Looks nice and even. Space up here, right here is usually where I clean up. I've got this that I'm working on. Probably won't be taking that away anytime soon. But I've been dealing with some heavy acne, and lately I've been trying out something that I will show you in the next video. But it's been helping out a lot. So I don't use this tool very often because it's very just not often that I even have to shave or buzz cut much of this. I do a lot of just cleaning up, which is why I like it. So when I use this to clean up, I'll get it right right to the line that I want to use and there's going to be some stragglers and some long ones of course the whole purpose of this You really learn your own tricks, you know? So be comfortable, feel good about it, because really this isn't about how pretty can I get, how perfect can I be, this is how much can I learn from doing such. So have fun with it, and just trim away, baby. And one last thing, when I do my chin with this, I kinda go like this, and I'll just match one side to the jawline, and I'll go ahead and clean up what I have to. Same thing with the other side, just kinda put it right in the middle of your chin where you want your line to be, and then just, like so, and I guess this could apply to tin strap guys. I don't know about big old beard guys, but it works out. And I love this tool. This is a nice tool. You guys have a good day. What's happening? How's everyone doing? Hope you had a good weekend. As I wrap up my beard routine, more or less tin strap routine, I wanted to kind of discuss a couple things about the beard struggle and their products. First of all, I absolutely love them. I've been using their products for over a year now, and I'm just happy to be able to say I'm involved in part of their organization. Um, first thing on the list, I wanted to discuss that really we are all on some kind of journey, right? We all have some kind of route. And on that route, we all have some form of transportation. We have some, you know, we got our Chevrolet legs, we got trucks, we got cars, we got bikes, we need it. But for the right, for the right vehicle, you know, you obviously want to think about the terrain. And if your terrain doesn't match the vehicle, if the vehicle can't handle the terrain, you obviously aren't going to make it far. So consider where you are headed, where you are at currently, and how maybe you can benefit yourself by just simply feeding the machine, you know, fueling it right, making sure you're in the right vehicle, so to speak, and really just make sure you're on the right path. So with that being said, I wanted to talk a little bit about what the beer struggle has. So they got everything from gentlemen's scruff bomb, beard bomb, mustache wax. You can get the sampler kit if you're not sure about what uh, fragrance you want to try. You can get the travel bag, which is just phenomenal for when you're always on the go. Uh, if you need a new wallet, they got a new Nord leather wallet. They got combs, brushes, uh, rings, sweaters, masks, you name it. There's all kinds of different products that just make 
the journey worth it. Wherever you're going, you got this to make it easy. Uh, why do I say that exactly the way I do? Well, because most beard products, honestly, they're a worthy brand. Most companies don't stand by the brand. It's just more than a oil. It's more than a, you know, a bomb. It's more than a, you know, a derma needle roller. It's the fact that when you get your products, you can actually stand by it. And that's, that's why I love this stuff. So if you're interested in checking out some day oil or night oil, you can go to thebeardstruggle.com, check out their website. I would highly recommend their starter kit. It's relatively inexpensive. Uh, it's a great way to just see if it's your style. And I would highly recommend trying more than just one beard product. I'm a boober. I, I got sold on the beard struggle immediately when I first started even doing any of this. So I tried out a few, but I didn't really venture out too far for a reason. So I would highly suggest checking out everything, seeing what you like, seeing what works for you, because you guys have a good day. Hope you have a good week. Thank you.